In this live self-defense training video, we're gonna talk about seven strikes that you can do with your self-defense walking stick. I have the Irish Shillelagh here. You might have this or another stylish walking stick or just a homemade self-defense walking stick like I used to, or I like to train with. But if you have this with the knob on the end, this is gonna give you a little bit extra protection, self-protection when we go through this list. The first thing that I want you to see is that you're gonna hold it in your hand it becomes a gray man option. You can take this just about anywhere you go because it's simply a walking stick. The nice thing about the knob is it gives you a little bit more support and it allows you to do the first strike. So the first self-defense strike, you would have the cane at your side or the walking stick at your side. The threat's coming up. We're gonna call this bag the threat and you're gonna aim for between his legs or up under his chin. Maybe he's reaching out and your fingers just go down the front of your cane and you're gonna pull this up. So as you pull this up fast, you can snatch him up between his legs. You can bring it up under his chin. If he's reaching out, you can smash that hand. And this Blackthorn Shalala, the way this is made, that's gonna create a lot of breaking power. You can break the arm very easily with this extremely dense piece of wood. So your hand slides down the front and you're gonna bring it up explosively. It's a very fast, immediate, direct, and explosive technique to stop the threat. Number two, Get it in your front hand, so you have two hands on it, and you can step and thrust like you were striking in with a bayonet. Or, hello, Studer, it's good to see you. Or, if you're using like a police baton, you would push somebody back by going into his midsection. Look how low you're keeping your hands. As you do that technique, you take a step with your front foot to generate maximum stopping power going right through the soft, soft tissue. Hello, Doug, Doug's here. Scooter's here, it's good to see you. So number one, snatch it up. Number two, step in and thrust. Number three, as you get closer, you're gonna use two hands like you're doing a push-up and take this hard piece of material, this hard piece of wood, smash the teeth down his throat, maybe into his nose, his eyes for self-defense, into the throat, that's more of a fatal strike. You can push in here, slamming right into his body. So starting with number one, snatch him up. Number two, step in with a thrust. Number three, smash here. Number four, an Irish stick fighting style. You're gonna turn one hand and allow it to come at an arc, smashing in like a big slap on the side of his face or maybe the top of his head, bringing that hard hammer down, bringing that big knot. And there's, in these Irish shillelaghs, they put in lead shot. So they drill a hole in there, they fill it full of lead, so it hits with a little bit extra oomph for self-defense. Hello, Doug. Uh, this is actually, Doug sent me this. This was a gift from Doug. I have a whole corner full of Irish shillelaghs from Doug. But you smash in this way or you smash in this way. Use your hand as a backstop so that you can get more speed, more power coming off the top of that strike. And number five, smashing down as hard as you can, trying to knock him out, turn off his operating system, let him drop to the floor like a sack of crap that he is. For self-defense, you're defending yourself. So you're walking down the street, you're minding your own business, things are getting more tense, there's a lot more anxiety out in the world. Uh, just happened here recently around the corner, a, a, a series of events, different independent events, where people have been either high on drugs and they've been attacking people randomly, there's been a lot of weird things going on. So you might find yourself in the, where you live, similar situation, you need some extra protection, you don't wanna carry one of these or you can't where you are, you can carry a walking stick, snatch it up between his legs, that's number one. Number two of the seven basic strikes that we're talking about for self-defense, using your self-defense walking stick, this thrust coming right through the middle. Number three, pushing in and smashing. Number four, turning your hand over and allowing it to smash into, it's very fast, very explosive, into the side of his head, or maybe into the arm, into the ribs, maybe you're sitting in a chair. And then number five, bringing it straight down, cracking him on the top. My glass, is this a real shillelagh? Yes, this is a gift from Doug, who's on here on the live chat. This is, a, it's a beautiful one, and it says, Maiden Shillelagh, Ireland. I only call it shillelagh, not shillelagh, because my Irish father-in-law, was born in County Wicklow, and in County Wicklow, they have the town of Shalala where this is made. And so Shalala, and he, since he's Irish, he, he, he told me it's pronounced Shalala, not Shalali. So it's an Irish Shalala. This is the real uh, deal, made in County Wicklow, right on the coast, in the town of Shalala by a family that's been making them for generations. 
Number six, the sixth way I want you to hit somebody with self-defense, instead of sliding your hand down the front, you're gonna bring your hand down the back of your walking stick. Now, again, it might not be, you might not have an Irish shillelagh. If you wanna get one, there's a link below. It's the first link, you wanna see what they cost. But you can have any walking stick. You can even use the ones that I make and sell here, which is just a 36 inch dowel, dowel rod. Uh, Long as the stream at Gung Fu says, a nice video, thank you, appreciate that. So you slide your hand here, and then you're gonna thrust, bringing this hard fist, this big knuckle, hello Billy, Billy says love that, right into his teeth, his eyes, his nose. The nice thing about hitting with the short side is that it's harder for him to grab. You now, you have the rest of the length. You can stick the other hand on it and bring that through. But it's just a very fast, I like immediate, fast, and explosive. I, I've been training uh, practical self-defense for so long. I've been around professional bodyguards who protect what I've come to, I can't even say the person's name because it's so controversial. But this group of people, and I learned this technique, or this, this concept of self-defense, this principle, immediate direct explosive from these gentlemen who would practice defending the principles, the man and his family, a billionaire who's very controversial, but they would, I mean, you've never seen anything so violent when it comes to self-defense, but it's effective and it works. And the, the fastest, the most direct, and the most explosive violence of action, close with and destroy, those are the principles you need for self-defense. You slide your hand down the back and then using your body to bend a little bit, you're loading up the springs, the springs being your leg, legs. You load the springs and then you unload with that fast explosive technique coming right into his teeth, into his nose, into his eyes. It's disruptive. If it comes in here, it could be fatal. It could be the ending technique. That's number six coming straight in. And number seven, using that hard, long side, bringing it through here striking in, turning your whole body, your shoulders, your hips, and let that long part of your shalala or your walking stick do maximum damage into the legs, into the ribs, into the chin, into the temple. You can even bring it down on top, smashing over. It's hard to stop such a fast explosive strike. They can block it. They're probably trying to attack you, hurt you. You would never do this just to be aggressive. You would do this to defend yourself. These are seven basic techniques. Review real quick, in case you join us late. Number one, snatch it up between his legs. Or again, maybe you're smashing that hand, he's reaching, he's already, maybe he's already grabbed you, you wanna smash his hand off. Maybe you come up, hit him under the chin, get your hand on it. Number two, thrusting right through the middle. From here, number three, close with and destroy, smash it with two hands through the teeth, this hard piece of, um, I can't remember it now, we just said it a minute ago, whatever this, this wood is, it's, a, it's really a root. They make these out of a root. But you're smashing that through extremely dense into the tissue from this position, rolling the hand over, striking this way or this way. Number four, number five, using that hammer on the tip there, coming straight down on top. Blackthorn, thank you, Doug. I knew Black, uh, I said Blackthorn earlier, I couldn't remember it. Bringing this down on top, and then we shift over to number six, sliding behind, loading up the legs. This is a traditional way that the Irish might fight. They would bend, they would get lower, and come up into this position. I want you to get lower and come up with the thrusting motion, and then from here, turning, and let the long side, let the leverage work as you bring that across the body. And those are seven out of many, many. Yeah, it is from, Billy, it's, it's from uh, Shalala, it's made in Shalala, in the uh, town of Shalala in County Wicklow, which is um, where my wife's family is from. And this is authentic, this is made by a family that makes these Blackthorn shillelaghs for many, many generations. So this is the real deal, this is how they're made. This is a beautiful work of art, but it's also an extremely effective, practical self-defense walking stick that you could carry with you anywhere. You can take this on the plane, you can take this almost anywhere. Most people are not going to see it as a weapon. Only people who are trained a little bit might look at it and question you and you say, no, 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 it's my walking stick. I got it because it's beautiful. It matches all my clo uh, uh, clothes. Yeah, Doug will tell you there's a website and um, I think it's, it even, if you just type in, if you go to like a Google search or something and you type in Shalala, uh, original mate, Shalala, Ireland, and then it'll pull this up. This will be the first thing that you see. There are not very many of them who make it anymore. Um, 
And then I put a link below if you want to get one from Amazon. And I've seen those. Those are not bad. They're not as nice as this. This is the gold standard. But Doug will tell you they're, they're, they're a little pricey. It's an investment. It's a beautiful investment, though. And it goes with anything. I don't care if you're young or old. This is a stylish self-defense walking stick. It doesn't get prettier than that. And, you know, and they'll, they'll, you, if you read the website, they'll show you the multi-month, years sometimes long process that they take to make these. They're, um, and I don't know, the question is how much does the shillelagh weigh? I'll tell you, it's not very heavy. This part is heavy. Most of the weight is here. This part is extremely dense. You would have it a very difficult time. You would have to really try hard to break one of these because they're just so exceptionally well-made and so naturally strong because of the, the, the way that these are made, the, the root or the sapling that this comes from. And then these are made in a traditional way. You would have a hard time finding where this is filled, but you can hear it a little bit when you shake it. So, all right. So G. Carlton says, he's been enjoying. G. Carlton, thanks so much for being here. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I really appreciate you um, taking time out on whatever night this is, Tuesday night. My, uh, I had a lesson, I have a lesson coming up and I had a lesson just before. So I had a little bit of time I wanted to work out with you. And it's, I turned off the air, to save the money. So I'm sweating a little bit more, but that's the way I like to work out. I like to work out more natural. If it's hot outside, I wanna work out when it's hot. If it's cold outside, I wanna go outside and work out when it's cold. But you guys have been awesome. We're, um, I'm gonna do a couple of giveaways in the summertime to raise some money for the school where I work. And one of them is a beautiful uh, self-defense walking cane. It's the highest level you can get from Cane Masters. It's like a $450 cane. I'm gonna figure out how I can let one of you win that in a competition, uh, you know, like a little, maybe a raffle or something like that. If you have any ideas, send me an email or putting it in the uh, comment section below. Thanks, Billy. Billy says, thanks for showing such a beautiful work of art. Thank Doug. Doug is the one who made it possible for me to bring this to you tonight. And we'll do more of these Shalala videos. There are so many techniques. I just showed you seven of the most basic ones. Irish stick fighting is a very beautiful tradition. There are, you can also use this as a sword. Use it in the way that you use a Japanese sword for self-defense. There's a lot of great things you can do. Addie C says, cheers, God bless. I'll see everybody in a little bit. I'm going to get ready to go open the door to teach the